Hi, I'm Michael Newark from Trend Profiteer, and today in this video, I'm going to go over the indicator, the expert advisor, give you an insider's look to the settings so you can make a informed decision on which option is going to suit you best. So this chart shows the indicator only. You've got the power trends and power swings displayed, but you don't have the trend management or the high time frames. Okay, in this chart, we've got the expert advisor displayed. We don't see the historic uh, trades, uh, whether the power, power trends or power swings, but you do have the trade management, the higher time frame, and you will see uh, the next current uh, alert. So if this were to result in a, in a new alert, it, it would tell you. Uh, and you know, the best option, as far as I'm concerned, is to get both of them. It's priced as a package. And so this way you get the indicator and the expert advisor. So the full trade management, the high time frames, all the historical trades, um, you get it all. So let's have a quick look. I'm gonna open up the indicator settings and we're just gonna browse through those settings. First of all, we've got entry settings, whether you want to uh, issue trades on your current chart or any other chart. Uh, your trading mode, whether you want it aggressive or conservative. Your trend settings, uh, whether you want to trade trends, um, how far you would like uh, the price to be at a maximum from entering, um, and a bit of a Goldilocks notification system. So it gives you an idea of how far the price should be as a maximum and how close it should be at a, as, as a minimum uh, from, the, um, from the inception of the trend. The swing settings, whether you want to trade swings or not, uh, how many counter bars in the MACD you want to see before a, a swing is alerted, how many pips the uh, swing should be um, from the inception of the trend and how big the swing should be. After that, we've got the higher time frames. Now these can be changed to anything you want. Okay, but I've got them set as daily, weekly, and monthly. So although the indicator won't show them on the screen, it uses the same, um, the same code to uh, determine you know, where, those, um, where those trade opportunities are. Whether you want to uh, display the buys and the sells or both, and uh, your notifications, whether you want to be notified on uh, mobile, uh, by email, and so on. Okay, so that's the indicator. Now let's have a quick look at the expert advisor. So here we've got the trade settings. First of all, uh, do you want autonomous trading turned on? So if it's on, then it's going to execute trades and manage them totally automatic uh, without any input from yourself. If you don't want it totally autonomous, then it's still in semi-automatic mode. So it'll ask you whether you want to take the trade after it's identified it, but it needs your permission to execute it. And if you do provide that, then it'll continue to manage it, uh, to, well, execute it and manage it uh, totally automatically. Uh, whether you want to trade up or down, uh, buy or sell, whether you want your trading mode set to aggressive or conservative, um, what to do when you face uh, counter trends? Do you want to close the current uh, trade and go in the opposite direction? Do you want to ignore it or do you want to um, open it as well as having your current trade open? Okay, um, whether you want to trade weekends. Uh, how many trades per side you should have? as a maximum. So uh, what happens is you've probably seen on the charts, you'll see a power trend and then a, a, a bunch of different power swings, um, you know, over the, the, the period of that trend. And this allows you to determine how many trades 
you uh, permit to have open at any one time. Now, again, all of these trades are managed totally independently of each other. So you might want to have uh, no more than two trades um, at any one time or no, matter, no more than five or ten or whatever it happens to be. Um, here we've got the split. So this allows you to determine whether it's going to be a split trade or uh, not. If, it, if it's uh, false uh, for split order, then it'll just issue one trade. Let's say you're trading one lot. Um, it'll just issue a one, one lot trade. If you have it set at, um, uh, as true for split order, then what it'll do is it'll issue two trades. And the cool thing is that you can specify the percentage. So in this case, you're specifying that the second part of the trade should be 60%. Uh, so in other words, you're going 40-60, but it could be 50-50, it could be you know 20-80, um, or it could be 80-20, 70-30, whatever the combination is uh, that you want, you can do that with the split trades. And the great thing about that is you can trade um, with both parts open. So you might want to trade more defensively on your first part and take some profits quickly and uh, you know let the second part of the trade um, be more liberal w with it. So if the trade is going to run, you're just giving um, the trade more room to move uh, without having as tight stops. Now you've got money management all built in so you can specify how many uh, lots you want to use or you can have it uh, calculated automatically based on a percentage of your account. Now the trade set, uh, sorry, the trend settings and the swing settings uh, are the same as the um, the indicator, and then we move on to the take profit and stop loss. So here you can have hard take profits, uh, or you can have dynamically generated take profits based on a on a uh, ratio of the stop. So in this case, you want the take profits to be 10 times um, uh, what the stop is. And the second part, if you do have a second part in that trade, 25 times. Now, these are idealistic in nature. Most of your um, trades are going to work with your locked in profits um, that it um, that it embeds in your trade management throughout the whole process. Um, but um, with trend trading, this is what Trend Profiteer is, is a, tr a trend trading system. You want to stay in the trend for as long as possible. So, you know, you don't want to cut yourself short. Um, it may go on for a long time. And if so, you want to trail that trade, um, but you don't necessarily want to stop it short on a, on a shorter um, hard target. So with your stops, you can have hard targets with your stops and you can have them dynamically generated as well. Uh, with your profit locks, you've got your first move, your second move, and uh, uh, this means that you can, you, can, uh, you can determine what your, what your profit locking targets are going to be and how much profit you're going to lock in at every point. So on the first move, uh, you're going to move your stop to uh, you know this much from your first move. And that means you're going to um, have this much locked in as profits. With your split, you can do the same on the second part of your trade. Trailing stops. Okay, we've got some, some specs here. Now all of these settings are covered in depth in our settings guide. It's about 20 pages and you can reference every setting. Um, it gives examples and uh, you know clear information on what the setting is designed for, how it works, and, and, and gives you a few examples. So um, the begin trail at is, uh, think of that as your third um, profit lock target. And this is the point when your trailing methodologies are going to um, take over after your delayed moves. Now, having said that, you can set your delayed moves in any way you want. You can set it to, to get in and out with hard targets, or you can have it set to, uh, to lock in profits as you hit those targets. Um, you can have the 
price to, to follow um, even beyond that trail. And you can choose a whole bunch of different trails. And you can choose different uh, trailing methodologies for the main part of the trade and the split trade. So for example, here we've got um, the different trailing methodologies that we uh, include with Trend Profiteer, simple, ratcheting, fractal, parabolic PSAR, moving average candle, and a fractal candle uh, hybrid combination. So you can do all of that and you can do that with both parts of the trade and you can trade uh, and have managed multiple trades all at the same time. Okay, um, so, you know, it's pretty, pretty uh, complex as far as what it can do, but it makes your life a lot simpler. Um, so here's the specifications or the settings for the different um, trailers. And then you've got your higher time frame one, two, and three, just like with the indicator. Okay, now you've got your uh, your settings display. Okay, you can change the colors. You can do anything you want. Um, now, this is the profit locking display. You can have that um, displayed in, in, in different different styles, um, and you can have any any colors that uh, you know that you that you want to use. And sometimes I use the same colors, but when you get into multiple trades, um, it can get a, very confusing. So I like to use three different colors. That way, if I'm opening up a second trade, it uses those same three different colors and then i know um you know which one is the first which one is the second target and which one is the third target uh, and it even will display your um, split trades if they are set to um to lock in profits at different points from your main trade you've got manual commands you can have them displayed on the um on the chart you're going to love that uh, functionality. It just allows you to be able to take a trade um, manually, even if an alert hasn't occurred or maybe you missed it or whatever it is, you can still issue a trade manually. And after that, the beautiful thing is that trade will be um, managed automatically from that point on, just like any other trade. Uh, and then you've got your notifications. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope that makes it a little bit more clearer. At the end of the day, uh, you've got uh, the um, you've got the uh, the uh, indicator only, the expert advisor, and uh, the um, the combination of the indicator and the expert advisor. Um, I look forward to to getting your feedback on the use of Trend Profiteer. Uh, until next time, good trading, live well, and I'll see you soon.